Ooh, Jordan man. drives one deep to center field. Trout will watch this one. That's into the bushes and straight away center field. The big man clears the center field wall. Back to back jacks and the Astros lead three to nothing. Oh, just crushing egos out there. Wow, that was thunderous off the bat. That's why you get on an airplane and show up in these ballparks. There are, that swing is taking butts out of the seats here in Anaheim. That ball's drilled deep to right field. Jordan Alvarez hits it out. Number seven on the year. A line shot to right. It's one nothing Astros. I think he got jammed, TK. He didn't get all of it? Nah. We were just showing you 116 miles an hour, 115 miles an hour. He only hit that one at 103.3, but still has the juice to get it out of the Minute Maid Park. Jordan smokes oh, one to center man. field. All the way back goes Gordon near the wall, and he'll leap up. It's gone. Home run. Straight away center field. The big man, Jordan Alvarez, connects on home run number nine. And the Astros lead this game three to nothing. Jordan up to nine home runs, 18 runs batted in, four hits in this doubleheader. As he sends one deep to left center field, all the way back is Gordon near the wall. That ball's gone into the bullpens. Two home run game for Jordan Alvarez. Astros now lead five to nothing. The big man has 10 home runs on the year. You talked about earlier, either today, one of these games, you said something about him hitting the changeup very well. How about him staying on a changeup and driving it out to left center field? That's a guy who's seeing the ball well and getting the barrel to it nicely. But that thing right in the middle of your screen right there, Mount Davis, did not exist. Holy oh, my goodness. This is crushed way up there towards Mount Davis. Off the facade of the second deck, Jordan Alvarez who hit one into the highest reaches of Minute Maid Park against Blackburn earlier in his career, sends this one out, maybe his longest home run of his career. Oh, my goodness. Four, six, nine. And that feels short. Aaron Judd with 18, Trout and Alvarez with 13 each for second most in the AL. This ball crushed to right center field. Forget about it. He's done it again. Air your Don with some long distance flights today. This one deep into the seats in right center. His second home run of the game and the Astros lead five to one. 444 feet. Yeah, you're getting multiple meals on these flights. You are covering some serious territory with Jordan Alvarez this afternoon. Jordan hits one to center field. He smoked that one as well. Isbell back. That ball's gone. Home run. Jordan Alvarez to straightaway central. Just like Martin Maldonado. Two, two run home runs to center in this inning. And the Astros lead seven to nothing. It's another two seamer where a hitter can get those arms extended. Singer trying to dot that away and the pitch flattening out. And he got a rude inter introduction to Jordan Alvarez. Oh, that ball's crushed. That ball's into the bullpen. Gone home run. Jordan Alvarez punishes that pitch into right center field for his 20th home run of the year. Guess what pitch that was, TK? Change up? Yep. That pitch came in at 86.3 miles an hour and left at 113.8. <laughs> they can't go back to back change ups for a third time. Gotta go fastball in, right? That ball destroyed. Second deck on a line. This guy is in a different world. Air your Don. Just give him player of the month already. Cut the check, give him the watch, whatever it is. Just, just send it to Minute Maid Park. My He'll pick it up in New York. My goodness, you're not. He out. hit that harder than his previous home run. You're not. Tries one. Deep right field, an explosion off his bat, sets off the 4th of July celebration. Astros' biggest come from behind victory of the season. They win it 7-6, to six. back to back days with a walk off home run. That ball was punished. Makes a deposit here in the bottom of the ninth to walk this 4th of July off for the Houston Astros.
And chance of MVP ringing around Minute Maid Park again with Jordan digging in. Jordan sends one to left field all the way back. The ball's gone. Jordan points it to the dugout on his way to first base with home run number 26 on the air. The big man gives the Astros a 3-2 lead. This is the second time in this homestand we've seen him go to that opposite field and use the Crawford box. He hits one high. He hits one deep. Kyle Lewis looking. That ball is gone. Air Jordan hits his 30th of the season. Astros lead six to nothing. RBI base hit earlier in the game to get things going for the Astros. Really didn't see a pitch in the next two at bats. Here he gets a pitch he can handle and hammers it. Dubon can get a big lead. Ground ball, that's a base hit and a game winner. Astros walk it off. Jordan Alvarez continues to be the main man in the Astros lineup. Seventieth RBI of the year is a game winner for the big man. He can hit. Leaning on that outside edge, or if he brings that slider, my goodness. That ball's crushed, deep center field, all the way back and gone! Into the Budweiser Brew House party deck. And the way Jordan's been hitting lately, the party's been on. one nothing Astros. Pretty well hit again, center field, back goes Brown. Forget about it! He got a changeup, and Jordan took care of it. Don't throw that guy a changeup. Martinez got cocky with the changeup. Pitch before was a really good one. Wanted to come back a better one. Guess what? Jordan's better than that changeup. And Jordan, oh give him a three spot. Forget about it. The longest home run of the night. 464 feet. <laughs> I mean, he's over 1,200 feet of home runs off of one guy. That was destructive. A three home run night for Jordan Alvarez. Almost 115 miles an hour off the bat. There's a ball drilled to right field. Jordan's done it again. His fourth home run the last two games. Now 37 on the year. And the Astros back within two. It's now a 7-5 game. That'll inject some life into this crowd and hopefully that Astros offense. Pedestrian 380 for Jordan. Yeah, that was just, he got jammed. But the big man knows his pop and knows he got enough of it to get it out of Minute Maid Park.